everyone to my channel space remote sensing and gis and today we will be going to discuss a very interesting topic over space and time analysis in rgs pro so incorporating the time into the spatial analysis which is allow you to focus on how the spatial pattern is uh, in your data and maybe vary the change over the time by analyzing the data over the time you may detect uh, the trains of the pattern that you would uh, not otherwise uh, you can say the detect had your analysis and the data for the entire time of the period so understanding how the pattern have changed over the time you can help you to determine how it might be changed in the future and better you can prepare you for the changes so RGS Pro has a tool which analyzing the data in the space and time. So let's discuss a few tools such like this and some kind of analysis. So for that, I'm going to show you first analysis, which is basically showing you the temporal changes. Okay. So suppose we have some uh, tornado data sets over here. So data analysis is actually very helpful for being your analysis, for beginning for your analysis. So you can have this view data map and view attributes so that you can understand what types of data we have in here. So now uh, there is um, a powerful tool which is known as a chart. Charts also give you power of the visualizations and explaining exploratory tools can help you to learn more about this particular data. Set. So let's see how the, the charts will help us. See, I have some data which is a tornado point in attributes. You see a lot of different types of data sets we have in here. Okay, so how charts will help us? Just see, just right click on this, go to the create charts, and I am going to create a line chart. See, in the line chart, if I want to see date wise, okay, so I can simply drop down this, okay, and I will just simply click on the date, and you see. The year wise data wise how nicely this data is actually came here so it is by default the time is actually beginning from the interval a is actually 12 months which is reflected in the charts okay so now uh, if you want to see the month wise date with month wise so you can change that accordingly uh, suppose this is uh, 12 months data sets will be there okay so if you want you can change the data visualization techniques over here also see here here we have the date so if i go and select the month so i can see in the 12 months what is the month what are the what are those months where we can see significant number of tornado is happening so that is we can consider in terms of usf so that is you can see the march april may june so these are the month we have there is a most chances of the tornado okay so this is the way how we are going to interpret the results okay different time intervals so uh that is that is the way we have to understand okay how we are going to explain our data now same thing you can represent with the data clock also okay so here you see we have this data tab options okay so in the data tabs we have this create chart option so if you want to represent this data in a data clock so simply click on the data clock okay and in the data you have to need to select the same thing like if i want to select the date date over here and see what is the months okay which is high tornado we can observe so very nicely it is represented in my charts okay now uh, if you see if you want to explore doing the data charts so um, you can see uh, this is my now tornado data sets whatever we're having so if i click over any of this point data okay so let's see see it is showing me the dates and times of that particular data sets also okay so uh, this date and times is actually helping us uh, for any kind of uh, time based analysis which you are actually going to do okay so uh, this is actually create date field which i showed you so each point having the date and time okay so that uh, will uh, that that you, we, we will that we can use for the further investigation of the special patterns of this particular 
a graffiti or the incidents or the tornado incidents whatever it is happening okay so i can i can uh, use that also so in this case suppose this is for the tornado i can go and uh, do it for another dates data sets also let's see let's discuss with another data so this is another data sets of the graffiti uh near your uh, near the new york city okay the graffiti data okay now uh i just want to uh, show you how i'm going to use this particular data for the same kind similar kind of chat analysis okay now we will actually incorporate uh, the time okay so as you see here here also we have these data sets inside some time and creations when it is created so all these informations will be there okay so now um we will um, analyze to determine whether there are more to store the regarding this graffiti incidents so there are 1 lakh 20 thousand i think uh, points which i'm having the span of eight years so we are actually more concerned about this particular incident that happens with within the last few months or the years of the incidents that happen the eight years ago the space and time analysis tool which is helping you to locate the temporal hotspots that you can focus on okay so uh let's see let's if i click over this graffiti and if i if i create a similar types of maps so i can simply click on this create okay so you can go with the line chart okay so now here uh i just need to give this date suppose okay create dates and you see how nicely it is creating okay so uh if you see this is the one month in the three weeks is there so if i change it to the one month so i can change this to the month and i will make it as a one see accordingly my data is changing so the chart is shows the eight years of the data using one month of interval size okay so we can see um uh, that there are the natural dips and spikes in the incidents which are notable for the pattern in in that in the spinning of the each year so there is a large spikes incident if you see you are not trying to determine the graffiti occurs rather you are actually trying to see the temporal pattern so interval size which is actually the charts which is depends on that have so for example you could uh, show the the span of 50 years also in a five years interval so if the data for the one day or may show some uh, increment in a several hours for that graffiti incidents we can change it to the interval to the three months on the based of the sessions similarly that's like here i am just going to uh, one month so you can make it up to three okay so that is that's you can increase it up to three okay so then you will get the information so when you view the chart the three months interval you see the based on the session length now okay so you can still see the temporal pattern of the incident of the graffiti spikes okay at the times of the dips and the time so the temporal variation of the graffiti incidents it's may cause by the seasonal changes in the spring time to the summer time weather may be uh, common times uh, create this graffiti so the charts basically shows the three there is a temporal variations in the graffiti incidents but the incorporate the time using the spatial uh, pattern and mines okay so now uh the same things if i want to go and do it over the 3d so for that time space queue how to generate so we'll discuss it now that okay so now we are actually going to use the optimized hotspot analysis tool to evaluate this one lakh twenty thousand gravity incidents that are actually shows where there is actually hotspot cold spot and there is the area which is no statistically significant clusters or to this graffiti incident so let's see how we're going to do this particular thing okay so uh we are going to use this uh, similar results okay so this graffiti data over this data only i'm just trying to start my analysis so the space time uh, mining tools you will get under this analysis if you go in a toolbox you go inside this toolbox so now you see here you have some tools okay so that is uh sp space time okay space time pattern mining tools is there option is there okay so under this uh first i'm going to create a space time um, uh, 
Okay, so that are some uh, that will be there here. So see, yeah. So space, time, cube by aggregating, you see the points is there. Okay, so because we have the point data, so I'm just going to use that. Wait for the result. So if you see here, uh, the input features as I given this graphic data sets, okay. So now the time fields, um, uh, this is, I'm going to get dates. So output, I am giving a name as a, suppose C, Q, underscore, in month. Yes, so I just uh, give the name, okay. Now uh, I'm going to create a, uh, time intervals so time intervals i'm giving here as a month of three okay and now the aggregation uh shape times here i'm not using the fishnet grid i'm going to use the hexagon grid okay so here you need to give as a distance so i'm typing 500 and the distance interval i'm giving here as a meter okay so that's all now on the basis of this i am going to click the run okay so let's uh, click it see once we click it so the results will come in the green button i see see it so it is not produce any results here okay so it is not produce any results here but it is actually uh, uh, but it will actually the input of the net cdf file that we are going to create into the imagining a hotspot analysis tool the next tool which are going to going to give as uh, input so you see this data this net city this is a dot net city of files which is actually created by these steps okay so that we will going to give input for the next process okay so if i go here and under the not this one that's particular so let's see this is the time space pattern now i am to see and using the time space pattern i am going to use this imagining hotspot and system. so you see here this is the input data okay so this is the q3 month nc which i produced by the last steps okay so that is not visually seen but this is created because of the last steps okay so now the analysis visuality i am going to see in as a count okay and now uh, this will be my uh, imagining hotspots, three months uh, in hotspots. So I will just give a name as imagining hotspot analysis. Okay. And uh, uh, this I will go with the fixed distance. And only things I will going to change it, the mask, I will select it as a bound. Okay. So let's uh, run this and wait for the results so that we can see it. Okay. So I will just simply run it. Let's wait for the results. Here now the results is created. So if I want to see that, I just switch off this one. So this is my data set which is filled. So running this uh, imagining a hotspot analysis tool, which is actually provide the valuable information about your data. Okay, so you can match uh, the the map symbology within the legends and descriptions to gain a good understanding of the area that you should focus on okay so for example the persistence and intensifying on new hotspots may be interested and while periodically hotspot may not be concerned okay so that is a different classes will be there uh, which is coming out of this okay so the descriptions if you want to learn more then you can go to this project you can go in a help file Okay, and here you can search about um, that uh, imagining hotspot. So you will get a lot of information. So you can search like this and you will get definitely a lot of documents and uh, information which is helping you. Okay, so you just see here. So you can go with any of the documents and you just see it is described you about all the classes which is generated here okay so what is actually meaning of that okay so that you can learn from that particular website okay so anyway now next uh, steps which we're going to move the 
is we are going to visualize this thing into a 3D, okay? So visualizing the space and time uh, cube into a 3D. So how are we going to do that? So let's, it will be very interesting, okay? Let's see. For that, I just go back to this, okay? And here we have the space time visualization cube which will be there. So under this, we have visualize space time cube 3D. So here we need to give input of the same, the net serial files. So I just click over this and simply select the same net serial files, okay? So in the variables, I'm going to be in the count, okay? And display theme, which we, we can going to show the, the basically the hot and cold spot as a result. So that I'm going to select it here, okay? So you can give, uh, this is uh, the time cube, this is the name. If you want to change the name, you can change it, but I am not going to change it. So simply click on the run, to get the results you see here this is the results how we get it here okay so now uh if i switch off all the things okay and we can open it in a 3d so now from the 2d layer i will just going to switch off all the data whatever it is open okay even the okay so so i just switched off or if you want you can switch to anyway first we will um, change it in this if i go to visualize convert you can go with the local scene and global scene i will just convert it into local scene actually you can do it in previously also but anyway we can open it now as you see in the map we have this as this is only your 3d mouse so you see two, uh, two is your tilt and zoom so just simply press this and drop it down and you can see how nicely this 3d pattern is created over your data so that is your time space clue how it is coming back okay so i hope this visualizations of the space and time cube which is allow you to see how the hot and cold spots are changed over the time so each hexagonal is been actually represented three months of interval. So oldest time. Okay. So time to interval on the bottom of this is the most recent and uh, on the top. Okay. So that is how this data is actually representing it. Okay. Now if you want to create it as a, a time cube also. So from here, if you go in a property. Okay. So here you have a time options and you can click on this entire fixed uh, scheme scheme is also there okay so you can uh, set it accordingly if you want set it okay so like this uh, suppose in the time if you see at the time too you have the options of uh, the filter and the content based on that the value so you can do that also okay so and uh, you can simply click on the cal calculate and if you click on the apply and okay so basically you will get one time slider with this Okay. And then time slider, uh, if you play, you can see the change from the starting. Okay, so how see how the nicely this, according to the times, how this is actually changing. So it will going to show you one by one by one, how this change. So that is the most in, important thing so to, to see in the 3D, especially how your data is changing over the times to so activating the time slider. Okay, so you can, we can generate animations of this. Okay, so I hope it is a very interesting for all of you. So if you like this video, please uh, give your comments and uh, please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thank you very much.